Hello wonderful person, this is Anton and in this video we're going to discover how many times Earth that you see on the screen right now will travel around the Milky Way galaxy before basically being swallowed by our own Sun. Let's discover how many times we'll get to spin around the Milky Way and welcome to What The Math. So Earth that you see on the screen right now is obviously orbiting the Sun and the Sun itself is actually moving across the galaxy and is sort of, I guess you could call it spin, but not really, travels is a better word, around the galaxy Milky Way. Now if we were to imagine this path, um, it would kind of look like this. So let me just zoom out of here for a second and also locate our planet Earth. And so our planet Earth and the Sun actually moves across the galaxy in this fashion. Now it's not exactly a circle, it's not even an ellipse, it always sort of wobbles up and down left and right depending on what effects um, it's getting from nearby objects. But for the most part it's been doing this for the past 4.5, just almost 5 billion years, basically since the birth of our solar system. If you look at this in a slightly different scale using Universe Sandbox, so here's the Sun and basically if I kind of zoom out of here, you'll see that the Sun itself moves around the Sagittarius A in this fashion. So it's going to kind of orbit around Sagittarius A, although in this particular simulation the entire galaxy basically gets destroyed. Let's try this again actually um, using just the black hole itself. So here is the Sagittarius A star black hole and at a distance of approximately 27,000 light years we're going to place our Sun, so right around here. So this is sort of the distance of our own uh, solar system to the Sagittarius A star. Now right now it says that it's moving at a speed of approximately 1.5 kilometers per second and a single orbit here, basically a single motion um, around the Sagittarius A star will take us approximately 34 billion years. Now, in reality it's actually a lot less, because our planet and our Sun move a lot faster. This is actually one of the reasons we believe dark matter exists, because we discovered that um, even though hypothetically Sun should be moving at a speed of approximately uh, one point, where was it again? Right here. 1.5 kilometers per second, or I guess um, about 5,400 kilometers per hour, the reality is that it's moving significantly faster. It's approximately 828,000 kilometers per hour. Now, you can see that this speed would be enough to escape the Sagittarius A star black hole, and that's because um, the black hole itself is just a tiny, tiny, tiny part of the entire mass here. Uh, you have the entire bulge providing quite a lot of mass and also these other stars also contribute to the mass as well. But most importantly the dark matter, uh, because even if you had 10 times or even 100 times more mass than um, it had in the beginning, you would still not really get that necessary condition for Sun to orbit around this point. So um, this is actually kind of beyond the scope of this video, but the idea here is that the combination of dark matter and the a tremendous mass concentrated right here creates the conditions where uh, for Sun to move at this speed and to have relatively circular position there, there's got to be about 20% of the entire mass uh, of the Milky Way concentrated in this region right here. So this is the only way that we can have Sun orbiting at this speed. Now how long would it actually take to orbit once? Well as we've discovered in the last few years, um, the reality is that a single orbital period of our Sun around the Sagittarius A star takes about 230 million years. In other words, last time the Earth and the Sun were in a similar location um, around the galaxy, the dinosaurs were the dominant species on our planet. Now, that also means that we can kind of predict how many times uh, we'll actually orbit around the Sagittarius A star and how many times we'll pass this sort of point um, before our Sun literally swallows the Earth and becomes first a red giant and then a white dwarf. 
It's still not 100% certain how big the sun will actually get, so it might just kind of reach the point where Earth is sort of scraping the surface. Um, but it's very likely that um, the Earth will either get evaporated or at least swallowed. And so we don't actually have to wait uh, for this to happen. As a matter of fact, we can use simple math to find how many orbits around the uh, Sagittarius A stars, in other words, how many orbits around the galaxy we require for um, Earth to be swallowed. The most conservative estimate as of today, as of 2018, is that uh, the Sun will actually become big enough to swallow Earth in approximately 7.5 billion years um, from today. In other words, it will take about 7.5 billion orbits around such a A star for us to reach that point. Now, let's assume that our Sun actually travels in a relatively same trajectory, sort of here, and takes about 230 million um, years to travel once. How many orbits would it actually take? In other words, how many galactic years would it take for Earth to disappear? 7.5 billion years divided by 2.3 million years will give us about 32.6. So that means that after approximately 32 and a half orbits around Sagittarius A star, so in 32 and a half galactic years, our planet Earth will actually be completely swallowed by the ever-expanding Sun. The Sun will reach the size of basically just over one astronomical unit, so it will actually kind of engulf the entire planet after about 32.6 galactic years. So Earth will get to actually return to the same location um, around the galaxy about 32 times before it meets its doom right here. And so there you go. This kind of hopefully answers the question of how many times will we actually get to travel around the galaxy before Earth disappears completely? And the answer is 32.6 galactic years, 32.6 orbits around the galaxy, or just over 7.5 billion years. Now, it's actually possible that this value will get refined yet again, and we might actually discover that either Sun will uh, live much longer or much shorter than we currently estimate. Um, because right now, the um, error margin is about 10%. So, this is like plus minus billion years. It could be 7.5 billion years, it could be 8.5, or it could be even less or more. But what is definitely certain is that Earth has quite a few orbits left in it um, and we'll get to see the same location in, in our galaxy, the Milky Way, quite a lot of times. But obviously by then, most of us will be dead. Actually, we'll be quite lucky if humanity is still around because 230 million years is enough to create a completely new species. And even though it used to be dinosaurs, and right now it's uh, mammals and specifically humans that are dominant species on the planet, it's very likely that by then it will be something completely different. My bet is on ants. A lot of ants. Super intelligent ants. Anyway, on this note, hopefully you enjoyed this video and hopefully now you know a little bit more about how Earth moves around the galaxy and how long it will take before it completely disappears. Subscribe if you still haven't, click the bell button to be notified about future videos, and maybe even consider supporting this channel on Patreon. But most importantly, come back tomorrow to learn something else you may have not known. I'll see you guys tomorrow, space out, and as always, bye-bye.